be here with um, Commissioner Garcia and Director John Son, but also with a couple new furry friends, mm -hmm. and this is Checkers, and we also have Peppa over there, and we are absolutely thrilled to be hanging out with those guys. They are just the biggest teddy bears, and they happen to be looking for a forever human right now. And so, if you guys think these folks are as cute as I think they are, we're here to tell you there are so many more like them at our Harris County Pets, and we welcome you to come and adopt these adorable furry friends. Spring is here, and with it we have great weather and pollen, but sadly also a huge jump in the number of cats and dogs needing a home. The warmer weather is conducive to an increase in the number of puppies and kittens that are born. And so that's how we end up in this situation. To put things very clearly, the facility we're in, it was built recently. It's a state-of-the-art facility. It was built to hold 315 dogs and 210 cats. That was double what our former facility used to hold. So it's a wonderful, wonderful facility. But right now, even though this facility is built for 315 dogs, it has 334 dogs. In other words, we are very much over capacity. There is an urgent need for dog adoptions, particularly medium and large breeds, folks, just like Peppa and Checkers right here. So please come on over. This is where we need your help. An overcrowded shelter stretches resources thin. It puts extra burden not just on the staff, but also on our furry friends. Overcrowding also causes a concern for disease that can occur between the animals when they're placed under these very tight conditions. By fostering or adopting a pet, you'll help us make sure that these pets have the homes that they deserve. I can personally confirm that adopting a pet is a fulfilling and a beautiful life-changing experience. I just adopted a little cat from here actually, Meluran. She's two years old but very small and you know they say that in politics if you want a friend you should get a dog and I can tell you guys the saying also works for cats because Meluran is a wonderful friend. She rules the roost and she is uh, just uh, the pet I didn't know I needed. So if you're able to help, come visit us here, meet these adorable pets. If you can't foster or you can't adopt, you can volunteer. You can make donations of supplies or funds. But the most important thing we need right now, adoptions and fostering. So visit countypets.com or call 281-999-3191 for more information. All the animals adopted are, are spayed or neutered, they're microchipped, they get their vaccinations, they have their pet license in Harris County. The team is a fantastic team. They're ready to assist. They'll walk you through the process, make it really easy. So come on by um, and we will hear now from, or you know what, I'm going to repeat my remarks in Spanish, then we'll hear from Commissioner Garcia and then from our director. Buenas tardes, estoy aquí con el comisionado García, con nuestro director, pero también con dos amigos peludos. Está aquí Checkers y allá vemos a Pepa y son dos perritos de muchos que hay aquí en nuestro refugio en Harris County Pets. Ha venido ya la primavera, con eso viene mejor clima, algo de polen, pero también bastantes perros y gatos. En la primavera nacen muchos cachorritos, muchos gatitos, y por eso se llena nuestro refugio de animales Harris County Pets. El, el refugio donde estamos hoy día es bastante nuevo, es un sitio maravilloso, tiene espacio para 315 perros y 210 gatos. Es el doble de la capacidad que tenía el refugio anterior. Aún así, tenemos congestión, y congestionamiento y sobrepoblación. El refugio tiene espacio para 315 perros, pero hoy día hay aquí 334. 
y todavía no ha empezado completamente esta temporada en la cual nacen los cachorros y los gatitos. Entonces necesitamos su ayuda para disminuir este refugio superpoblado. Eh, la superpoblación causa menos pues menos adecuadas eh, condiciones para las mascotas y además también puede causar enfermedades. Cuando se tienen a estas mascotas en tan cerca tanta cercanía, eso causa problemas. Entonces, esto es lo que necesitamos por parte de ustedes, que nos ayude bien sea a adoptar una mascota o a acoger una mascota de manera temporal. Eso lo puede hacer aquí en nuestro refugio. De hecho, yo hace solo un par de meses adopté a una gatita, tiene dos años, se llama Meluran y es divina, es una gran amiga. Hay un dicho en la política que si quiere un amigo se consiga un perro y la verdad es que también aplica ese dicho para los gatos porque May Luran es una compañera excelente y la encontré aquí en Harris County Pets. Les digo por experiencia propia que tener una mascota es algo muy lindo, especialmente con tantos retos estos días, es algo que a uno pues lo ayuda. Entonces, si quiere eh, adoptar a una mascota o tener una mascota temporalmente, ayudarnos en nuestro refugio, venga a visitarnos, puede visitar la página web countypets.com.com o puede llamar al 281-999-3191. Todos los animales han sido esterilizados o castrados, tienen microchip, tienen la licencia de mascota, se lo hace muy fácil eh, todo el proceso. Y también les recuerdo que si la adopción no es algo que, que puede hacer en este momento, si no puede en este momento acoger a una mascota, nos puede ayudar igual como voluntario o con donaciones, tanto de materiales como de fondos directamente. Entonces, espero verlos. Eh, Pepa y Checkers no tienen en este momento familia tampoco, entonces si les gusta alguno de estos dos, aquí los veremos y especialmente son estos animales más grandes, de tamaño grande o mediano, los cuales están necesitando un hogar urgentemente, espero que nos puedan ayudar. Uh, we'll hear now from Commissioner Garcia. Thank you, Judge, and uh, it's always good to be here uh, with our partners at the Harris County uh, Pets Clinic. I want to first thank them for all of their phenomenal work, their commitment to our community, uh, the commitment to these, uh, these cute uh, kids. And uh, Bep uh, Peppa here is uh, full of energy and, uh, and Checkers knows how to handle the press conference. Uh, with, all, with all that being said, look, the reason that we invest so much into these resources, it's because it contributes to our public health. Uh, as uh, Judge Hidalgo mentioned, it is, uh, there's so much at risk and so much harm that goes on if we allow strays to remain loose in our community. And having been a kid who's grown up uh, with a dog almost throughout my entire life, uh, I will tell you that it brings a great deal of joy to one's family into one's heart uh, when you have an adopted furry friend. And here is where it can all happen. We want to make sure that you know that if you are a pet owner, uh, but you don't, uh, maybe you don't have the financial resources to get to the, vet, uh, to the vet as you need to, you can come here and the resources are available to you as well. Uh, but also making sure that, uh, as the judge mentioned, the microchipping is also available to you. Uh, that's so critically important, especially if uh, you want to make sure that your, uh, your, furry, your furry baby, in case they uh, tend to stray away from the house, can be found and returned to you as safe as possible. But it's public health uh, that brings me here in support of our uh, Harris County Pets Clinic. It's public health that we are committed to, and we want to make sure that everyone understands that If you have a pet that's loose out in the community, that pet can contract, uh, or not, your, it won't be your pet, but that stray can contract uh, rabies, as an example. Uh, and then that uh, stray can cause harm to uh, one of our children. So we want to make sure that we're thinking about this comprehensively and globally. But also, it's uh, critical to recognize those professionals 
that work here and do this on a day in day out basis and we also want to thank all of the peripheral friends and supporters of the uh, Harris uh, County Pets Clinic uh, the volunteering that you do the contributions that you provide and as you uh, as uh, Judge Hidalgo mentioned we can never have enough uh, support from the broader community for the work that's being done here but I do want to uh, close on this and that is that uh, my pet I have a Wheaton Terrier by the name of Amigo and I have a stray cat uh, by the name of Chica uh, who may be a little jealous uh, Amiga has already trained Amigo on uh, how to be around her and uh, but I would just simply say that um, there's a lot that we can do for our community adopting a stray is one of the best things that we can do uh, for our community health I want to urge everyone to think about it seriously and recognize that if you do it there you have all the folks here that can guide you in the process of what that entails the support uh, that you can receive here uh, to ensure that your uh, new family member uh, remains as healthy and well provided for uh, all that support and information and education uh, and respective uh, service all can be found here through the folks that uh, that make this uh, this clinic possible and I'm proud to have the Harris County Pets Clinic in my precinct uh, and so there's there is one guy that I'm looking for Dutton uh, he is a sweetheart he is he's still here well again you come if you're not sure come anyway uh, once you get to experience these babies there's no doubt that you will want to take one of them home with you uh, but I, I, I cannot uh, thank the staff enough and so I'd like to turn it over to Scott uh, Johnson uh, did I do that right yeah, uh, yeah. he's from the Houdat Nation we won't hold that against them uh, but we're grateful once again for all the professionals that make this clinic the wonderful experience it is for everyone both human and furry alike Scott You're just gonna lay there I guess right there you go okay um, good afternoon everyone um, first I'd like to start off by uh, thanking uh, Judge Hidalgo and Commissioner Garcia for coming down here um, you know just expressing their gratitude towards the staff and the community and and all the good work that we do here um, through Harris County Pets um, so my name is Scott Johnson. I am the, uh, the newly appointed director of uh, Harris County Veterinary Public Health. And, um, you know, as Judge, Gar uh, as Judge Hidalgo and Commissioner Garcia um, just alluded to, uh, it's springtime. We're getting a lot of animals that are coming in our building, and um, sometimes they come in faster than we can always get them out. Uh, since the 1st of January this year, we've taken in just under 2,900 animals. Um, and that, that's a lot. Um, that's a lot and so one of our main goals here is to uh, maintain our, our status of a, as a no-kill shelter which is something that can be very difficult when you take in almost 2,900 animals in the first oh, three or so months of the year um, but you know we're here today proud to say that um, our live release rate is still um, above 97 percent um, which is a, a fantastic number and and a lot of the credit can be given to people on the outside of this place um, people from the just the general public the citizens who are coming in here um, and adopting animals and a lot of credit goes to our rescue partners um, as well as our networkers so we have a lot of individuals who simply just volunteer their time um, to find homes for our animals and there's a variety of groups um, urgent shelter pets um, oh thank you sir <laughs> it's gonna take checkers from me uh, 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 Saving Houston Pets, uh, Houston Harris County Animal Volunteers, uh, Houston Save Lives is our mission. All of these groups work together to to find positive outcomes for the animals that come into this facility. And and so far this year, through our rescue and transport and foster groups, we've had almost 1,500 animals leave this facility, um, and we've had just over 900 adopted. Um, but you know, as many as we get out, we get that many more in. Um, on average, we'll take in um, around 25 to 30 animals a day. So um, sometimes we might only get out 10 or 15 in one day, but we may get an influx of 25 or 30. So, um, you know, really appealing to the community here to, to come out and, and, you know, offer some assistance here. And, and as the judge and the commissioner said, if you can't adopt an animal, 
because, you know, let's face it, not everybody can, right? Certain situations don't allow that, but maybe you can foster one for two weeks or three weeks until we can get it out to a rescue or uh, get it out on a transport. Um, if nothing else, come down and volunteer. We, uh, we have plenty of stuff um, for volunteers to do, and we're always here to, to welcome anyone who wants to, uh, you know, give some time back to the community. And there's not too many things more rewarding than, than helping out an animal. Um, you know, I think a lot of people come here with a different mindset when they volunteer, um, you know, that maybe they, they think like, oh, it's something I'm just going to go do, and then they find out that it becomes part of their life, and it's now something that they look forward to and they, they want to do every day, and we're really grateful for those folks. Um, and, you know, on another topic, um, as uh, Judge Hidalgo and Commissioner Garcia mentioned, we have a fantastic uh, veterinary clinic here. Uh, we're able to provide a number of uh, medical services, um, and we can do the basics too, right? We can do heartworm testing, heartworm prevention, um, vaccines, um, and we are also um, doing heartworm treatments low cost. Um, heartworm disease is um, just prevalent throughout the community, right? Everybody knows how many mosquitoes are in Harris County, and, and mosquitoes are the... Uh, the mode of transmission for heartworm disease in dogs. So, um, you know, come on in to our clinic and get your dog heartworm tested. We'll get you set up on some preventative. And if your dog does test positive for heartworms, we have some, some solutions for you that, um, you know, that we think uh, the majority of people will be able to benefit from. Um, so, you know, again, I just want to thank everybody um, from the rescue groups and networkers, all the citizens and transports and fosters, everybody that we have. Uh, thank you so much for coming down and helping us. Um, but there's still a lot of work to, to, uh, to be done. Uh, yeah, right now we have a total of just over 400 animals um, in the facility. And as I said, we expect more um, every day. So um, anything that the community, um, you know, in the Houston area or even outside the Houston area can do uh, to help us get these animals out to a, a safe, happy, forever home. Uh, we'll be more than grateful for that. Um, I'd like to turn over to Judge Hidalgo for any final comments.